हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी लॉजिकल मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल वंस अगेन वेलकम टू क्विज टाइम आज डेट है थर्टी ऑफ जुलाई एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो द क्विज बेस्ड ऑन थर्टी ऑफ जुलाई न्यूज़पेपर सो एक छोटा सा ट्विस्ट है इस बार वोकेबलरी में एंड स्टिक टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द ट्विस्ट जो रेगुलर बेसिस पे हम लोग क्वेश्चन कर रहे थे आज थोड़ा सा एक ट्विस्ट किया है एंड आई थिंक इट इज क्वाइट सिंपल टू अटेम्प्ट सो डू स्टिक टिल द वोकेबलरी सेक्शन क्विज टाइम जी लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Number one is which Indian has created history by winning two medals at the same Olympics for the first time since independence? Your options are Manu Bhakar, Sarojit Singh, P. V. Sindhu, or Balraj Pawar. Well, quite a proud moment from for every Indian. The correct answer. I am hoping every one of you should must know this, and the correct answer is Manu Bhakar. Number two, in which sport Manu Bhakar won her second bronze medal at the same Olympics? Your options are boxing, wrestling, shooting, or archery. And the correct answer is archery. She won her second consecutive medal in shooting. Well, Manu Bhakar has created a history, like to become the first Indian to win two medals at Olympics ever since independence. Okay, number three. Recently, news in which city Quad Foreign Ministers meeting was held? Your options are New Delhi, Tokyo, Brisbane, Washington D.C. Number four. Indian legend Rohan Bhopana retires after Paris 2024. He has retired from which sport? Your options are swimming, shooting, tennis, or archery. Let us check the correct answer. And the correct answer is tennis. Number five, International Tiger Day was observed on 29 July. What is the theme of International Tiger Day 2024? Your options are call for action, tiger trails, their survival is in our hands, or save tigers. Correct answer. देख लेते हैं. The correct answer is call for action. Number six, recently in news, Nicolas Maduro becomes president of which country? Your options are Turkey, Ireland, Venezuela, or Ethiopia. and the correct answer is venezuela number 7 recently news how many indian destinations have been included in world's greatest places of 2024 your options are 2 3 4 or 5 the correct answer is 3 times magazine's world greatest places of 2024 includes three indian destinations Number eight. Who has been appointed as the governor of Assam? Your options are Manwari Lal Purohit, M C Patel, Lakshman Prasad Acharya, or Hari Bhav Kisan Rao Bagde. The correct answer is Lakshman Prasad Acharya. Number nine. Who has been appointed as the governor of Rajasthan? Your options are Manwari Lal Purohit, M C Patel, Lakshman Prasad Acharya, uh, or is it Hari Bhav Kisan Rao Bagde? Same options. Let's see. You know this one. The correct answer is Hari Bhav Kisan Rao Bagde. Last question for today's GK quiz time. Santosh Kumar Gangwar has been appointed new governor of which state? Your options are Kerala, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, or Punjab. And the correct answer is. Jharkhand. Here we go. GK quiz is now done. Moving on to our vocab English vocab quiz with a little twist this time. Let's check it out. Here you are presented with a very short context, and you have to guess the meaning of one of the terms. Let's read. Number one, the actor's extensive repertoire, which includes both classic and contemporary roles, has made him a favorite among critics and audiences alike. What does the word repertoire mean in the context of the sentence? Your options are a collection of skills or performances, a type of historical artifact, a form of economic analysis, a method of scientific research. and the correct answer is a collection of skills or performances the actor's extensive repertoire meaning all the skills collectively that he can act well in uh, comedy acting bhi kar sakta hai action mein bhi he is good emotional acting mein he has a good command so repertoire generally basically refers to collectively speaking collection of skills Number two, the country's economic malaise is attributed to several factors, including global trade tensions and domestic policy failures. In the context of the sentence, what does malaise mean? 
Options are an improvement in public health, a type of political strategy, a general feeling of discomfort or illness, a sudden financial gain. The correct answer is malaise is generally referred to as an illness. Number three, despite her expertise on the subject, the professor's reticence to share her views during the panel discussion left many wondering about her true opinions. Your options, uh, the word, what is the meaning of reticence in the given context? Your options are a medical procedure, an enthusiastic endorsement, a legal term for contractual breach or reluctance to speak or reveal information. Those who have been following the quiz time, generally reticence bohat baar discuss kar chuke hain. Reticence means when one is very reserved in their speech. Bohat easily bolte nahi hain. So the correct answer here is reluctance to speak or reveal information. Number four, the new candidate's centrist policies have been praised for bridging the divide between the left and right factions within the party. Your Question is, what does centrist imply in the context of the sentence? Your options are a historical period, an extreme viewpoint, a legal term for a contractual breach, or a political position that is moderate or balanced. Let us check the correct answer. And the correct answer is a political position that is moderate or balanced. Unko term, they are termed as centrist. Number five, the unexpected grant from the foundation provided a much needed fillip to the community project, accelerating its progress. What is the meaning of fillip as used in the sentence? Let us check the options. Your options are a financial loss, a legal document, a boost or stimulus, a type of decoration. Kya bol rahe hai? Provided a much needed fillip. It's more like a much needed push or a boost. So let's take a look at the option. Boost or a stimulus. Boost or stimulus means is cheese ko push karne ke liye kuch needed tha. Kind of a motivation or maybe some financial help. So a boost or a stimulus that would push this project ahead to its completion. Number six, the resurgence of interest in vintage fashion has led to a revival of 1980s styles on runways around the world. In the given sentence, resurgence refers to your options are a decrease in popularity, a revival or renewed interest, a type of technological innovation, a political scandal. Resurgence of interest in vintage fashions. Resurgence means, is context mein agar dekhe to, has led to a revival. Ek tarah se 1980s ke style ko revive kiya. So resurgence would indicate a revival or renewed interest. For example, wearing bell bottoms, which was majorly popular in the early 90s or 80s. So bell bottoms are in trend once again, and this shows the revival, a renewed interest or resurgence, you can say. Number seven, the suspect who was wanted for multiple crimes was extradited from a foreign country after a lengthy legal battle. What does extradited mean in the context provided? Your options are sent to another country for trial, released from custody, charged with a crime or acquitted of charges. Let us check the correct answer. The correct answer is sent to another country for trial. The context says the suspect who was wanted for multiple crimes, who wanted criminal tha, was extradited from a foreign country. Ek aap bohat hi lambe legal battle ke baad usko apni country mein lana possible hua. So sent to another country for trial. Let us check what the correct answer is. The correct answer is sent to another country for trial. So it clearly states that the suspect was sent to another country for a lengthy trial. Number eight, the student's procrastination on the research papers resulted in a rushed and less effective final submission. In the context of the sentence, procrastination refers to your options are delaying or postponing tasks and immediate action and increase in productivity type of medication. Well, procrastination are biggest enemy. Let's see what the meaning is. It's delaying or postponing tasks. That is procrastination, our biggest enemy. Like I said, a student must know how to combat procrastination and move ahead with your daily preparation.
Number nine, the court granted the annulment of the marriage based on the grounds that it was never legally valid due to a procedural error. What does annulment signify in the provided context? Your options are the final, the finalization of a legal agreement, an extension of a contract, the declaration that something is invalid or void, or a type of financial settlement. The correct answer is annulment means cancel ho jana, khatam ho jana, invalid ho jana, ya void. Kisi cheez ka null and void ho jana. So the marriage was annulled. Check the correct answer. The correct answer is the declaration that something is invalid or void. Kisi cheez ka cancel ho jana, null and void declare ho na, invalid ho na. The last question for today's English quiz is, the judge issued an interdict preventing the publication of the sensitive information until a full investigation could be completed. What is the meaning of interdict? as used in the sentence. Your options are an official endorsement, a financial transaction, a legal prohibition or a ban, a type of reward. Let us check the correct answer. The term interdict means ban ya prohibition lagana. So a legal prohibition or a ban is the correct answer. I hope you enjoyed this twist in vocab today. Do follow quiz time for more such interesting quizzes and stay logical.